Okay, so it's actually the next day here. Um, filled the system last night. No more leaks. Um, played around with it for quite a bit. Um, purging, playing with the pumps, and just kind of getting things figured out here. So as of right now, uh, the whole thing is at uh, 50, 55 pounds. And what I've been doing is purging from every which way. And I spent probably an hour, hour and a half last night just hooking up to various valves and filling from different directions and trying to get all the air out of the system, um, including to the furnace and back. I had a, a little leak over at the furnace uh, with the PEX connections over there. And uh, got that all taken care of, but yeah, looking really good. I'm really happy. Um, the only thing that I'm still not sure about is the noise of these pumps. So I always heard and read and you know that that these pumps are supposed to be near silent when they're on. Um, mine are not silent, and I don't know if there's air in them still. I mean, I. All of this that I have filled right now is on the domestic side of the system. So it's at street pressure, 55 pounds. This is not the heating side that's gonna have, you know, 12 PSI in it. This is all 55 pounds, the tank and everything. So I'm able to purge from the street coming in. And uh, basically, I pushed 55 PSI, which is pretty good flow to move any stubborn air out through all of these pumps for, I mean, a good 10, 15 minutes each with them on, with them off, really trying to get that air out. I don't think there's any air in there. However, I'll let you guys, I'll let you listen. I'm going to turn on this pump right here. Now, all this pump does is it pumps water from here which comes from either the street or the tank and since no faucets are open right now the system is basically closed so it's going to pull from the tank it's going to push it up through can't go this way it's going to go through the exchanger up through the heaters i have all the heaters open so it's going to go through both heaters the heaters are not on so the Valves should be fully open and I know that because if I open up this is the outlet side of the heater if I open this up You know, I'm getting full pressure coming out of this hose here I mean that's That's wide open and this is on the output side so the only way for me to get that kind of flow is for the water to flow through the heater. So I got both of these open. So it's gonna come down and it's going to pump back into the tank. So, cause that's where it's pulling from down there. It's pulling from the bottom. So it's going to, uh, pull from the tank and put into the tank so it'll circulate the tank that's that's the plan so i'm gonna i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna let the fan on the old tank was turn off somebody upstairs must have turned on the hot water for a second there so it's dead quiet in here and i'm gonna let you listen to this pump and you tell me if it's loud i don't know you can hear a lot of water moving through these heaters which maybe is what i'm hearing um, the recirculation pumps are noisy too. And the YouTube videos I've seen and stuff, those things are silent, so I, I don't know. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set the camera down, or I'll hold it quietly, and I'm, not, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna turn this on.
See, I think a lot of the water movement that I'm hearing is it moving through the heaters, which is normal. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. The part I'm not sure about is the hum. You hear the humming, the brrrr, like I can hear that, this pump. does change pitch when I push on it. So it might just be the vibration through all the copper. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't think that's air. So maybe that's normal. The cool thing is that this is the outlet. So right now with the heaters off, there's no restriction. So it'll be interesting to see when I turn these heaters on, how much it restricts and what this pressure drops to. So that's that pump. Now I'm gonna turn on the primary pump, which will be for the heating. So that's just to recirculate the tank. So that'll come on when the aquastat for the tank gets low. That'll come on for whatever I set the differential to on that aquastat. It'll run for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. I don't know. We'll dial that in. That tank, that pump is just to recirculate that tank to bring it back up to temperature. This pump is my primary loop pump. This will be controlled by the heating side. So this is going to circulate water, th or yeah, water through the heaters out. Won't go to the tank because nothing's coming out of the tank. So it'll go back down through the heat exchanger where hopefully my heating side is sucking every BTU off of it. Come out of here nice and cold or colder. Go through the pump and get heated again and just keep going around and around. And as long as one of those three zones is calling, that pump will run and will pump through the heaters. Uh, hopefully here tonight, I just want to temporarily put a 90 on that condensate line and run it over here to the sump pump. And then I want to turn these on so I can see what my flow is, because this will tell me my flow. I want to see what one or two of these, if they're both on, I want to see what two of these will push as far as flow through the tank. So I'm going to shut up again, and I'm going to flip the switch so you can hear this pump. It, it basically sounds the same. It's a hum. It might be normal, and it might be the vibration through the pipes. So listen. See, a lot of the noise sounds like it's it's up here through the units. Now, I'm going to leave that the pump on and I'm going to shut one of these off so it can only go through one unit instead of both. Listen to the pump change. You hear the pitch up here get higher. does the same no matter which one it is. So that noise might just be more the water moving through the intricals of the tankless units than it is the pumps, I don't know. Uh, the one that I'm also more concerned about is these little Taco 006s. Now, it's my understanding that these things should be pretty much silent. Um, so I'm going to open these up. 
shut these off so I'm taking that old tank was out of the loop so basically right now this is exactly how it's gonna be when it's in full operation okay no faucets are open so there's no call for hot water but I want my recirc loop on so the aquastat here which will be run all the way down to there somewhere says hey the pipe is cold turn on the recirc pump and I'm gonna let you listen to this recirc pump I thought these Taco 006's were supposed to be like silent and I have two of them uh, one I bought used from a friend and the other one I bought brand new from supplyhouse.com they both sound identical one's here and one's over at the furnace there's no change so I don't think it's like the used one was bad or anything like that um, so listen I don't know if that's normal or if that would be considered loud. The one over at the furnace sounds almost identical. Um, I'll head over there now real quick and record that one. Okay, over here at the furnace, of course you can't see that, but uh, grab the thing here. There's the pump. Comes in on the red line. I had a little bit of leak yesterday, last night, out of this O-ring, and I, I didn't even come over here and check because I was too busy running around over there. It dripped down and ran down the front and onto the floor a little bit right here, but it sealed itself. There are black O-rings inside this little thing, and I, I don't know if it was just they were dry or whatever happened, but um, it sealed itself. It hasn't leaked in the past 24 hours. I even came down here at 2 in the morning. I left it under pressure all night, made sure that it wasn't leaking, and it's fine. I purged this loop. Uh, number one, I purged it off that T and opened up this valve and dumped it into my condensate drain, which leads over to my drain tile. So I purged it at least up to there and then through some fancy valve work and filling over at, at the tankless units, I shut off a valve and put water into the tank and then hooked up a drain from one of the outlets where the only way the water could get out was to circulate through this loop. So, and I purged all the air out of that blue return all the way back to the utility room. So I know there's no air in it. I mean, I, I purged this like you wouldn't believe. So here, I'm gonna try to plug this in with one hand, but I want you to listen to this. If I can do this with one hand.
so I don't know. I, you know the 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 hum here, the the low low drone. I think is because I I screwed it right to the studs. So you know I'm sure it's transferring some vibration to the frame. Uh, so maybe I need to put some rubber isolation pads behind that mount, or I need to do um, something something different there. I I don't know. Um, but it's more the circulator noise that I'm worried about. That that noise is is why I don't I don't know if that's normal. It sounds like there's air in there, but I, I mean there there can't be. I, the only other thing I could try to do is crack these four bolts and, and pop this off and see but I mean I really don't want to do that with it under pressure it's gonna blow water everywhere I could close these two valves I put in but now I'm putting air into it you know I, I so man I, I purged this line for a good five minutes at full 55 psi I would think it would have taken any air in there out with it I I don't know so, anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks.